hello and welcome to Spotlight, and this week we are looking at Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3 confirmed. This is Half-Life 3 coming uh, at you. So we're looking at Half-Life Aftermath, which is a fan-created compilation of all the leaked uh, files from the development of Half-Life 3. And this is the weird one where you collect resources? What was it called? Like like proto-resource collection? Yeah, resource gathering or something. Yeah. Prototype. You okay. cannot. So it seems like, so, yeah, head crabs and stuff drop biological Which looks really stuff. cool. Um, you get mechanical stuff from like crates and cars and stuff. And then man hacks drop energy, and, which and, is like and, the blue stuff. And scrap. Yeah. Or mechanical, I guess. And the reason you're collecting this is because Dog is trapped behind a laser gate. And you're trying to um, collect enough resources to get it. I played it very quickly beforehand, but I didn't open the game. No, we, 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 the biggest bonus was energy, right? Like we couldn't. Yeah, energy is like the hardest thing to get. I thought I think the energy is like by far the coolest looking one when you collect it though. So it has like the like the energy bolt. But. It's, I don't know. I, I, I know. Like when we like did like the quick like test of like this is this of this map or is this level. Like I said, like I like the idea of this like resource collection. Is that more interesting than a lot of survival games resource collection is? Yeah, it's really interesting. Like Valve went through so many things. They were like, shit. Let's make another Half Life game. What should we do? Like, yeah. what's different that we could add to it? What, what, what do you want to spice it up or make crazy it a, shit. a good game? He's only got one energy. Yeah. So do Manhacks not always drop energy then? It's a bit buggy, I think. So that's why it ended, like, ended the buggiest one, because of the weird lightning thing to collect it. So you only sometimes pick this stuff up, it's kind of glitchy. Yeah. So you've got even less energy than we did last time you tried this. But the, the doors are over here. So I'll right? show you yeah. dark here, right? So there's a laser grid, and it's like. You need 50 biological, um, 50 mechanical, and 15 energy, and then I can get to dog. I think that's, that's really cool. I did like to like gate off like some other level, just like you don't have to kill like X amount, you just need to collect X amount. That's kind of cool. I like. Oh cock! I didn't realize it exploded. <laughs> Oh, shit. I I like how um how they they're, they're actually like affected by physics. drop energy as well. So they got like biological batteries. Do they always? They don't always drop it. Okay. No, it might just be random. Because this one drops energy as well. Yeah. And the, the fucking biological thing you picked up, they've coded it into bug bait, so you get the bug bait sound every time. Oh, all right. Biological stuff. Some nice sounds, though. I miss these sounds, types of sounds from uh, the early 2000s. You have never played Half-Life, have you? Tell no, I've never played Half-Life. I've watched Half-Life 1 from start to finish, I think. Right. I think I know what you, happened. Have you seen Freeman's Mind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I watched it. Fantastic. <laughs> I need to rewatch it. I don't remember most of the shit that happened. He finished it and he started Half-Life 2. Yeah, now. yeah. And so I've never seen, like, mo I've seen, like, little parts of Half-Life 2, but I've never seen all of it. So I'm hoping he, in, like, 10 years' time here, Freeman's Mind will finish Half-Life 2. Oh, that's how long it takes them to make stuff, right? I always try and get people to play Half-Life 2, but they always... You yeah, should just give up halfway through. I don't know why. I'm not a big fan of... Like, I'm really this is like heresy to say, but I'm not a big fan of Half-Life 2. Or Half-Life 1. Why is that? I don't know. Like, there's just something about it. I just, I don't... Like, the story... I prefer Portal 2's and Portal 1's, like, story stuff. Portal didn't have a story. Yeah, but some of the, the stories that are being told. Like, through, like, the... the I guess well, technically backstory stuff, but yeah, I, I'll give you that it's not like traditional sense story like in Half Life. These are the antiline workers, they spit acid at you. Oh my god. So they're, they're worse than normal and. Oh my god. Yeah, these were introduced in um, Jesus episode. Christ. Two, I want to say. They're pretty nasty. Oh, they explode though. Do yeah. they explode and hurt you if you're too close? No, I don't think so. Okay. They're not banelings then. Oh, spitting banelings. I Great, I'm going, going to Blizzard games, let's not do that. It's bad. I recently did the gnome... Um, yeah. The gnome achievement on 
carrying the gnomes throughout the entire game. You say recently, I think that's... It was a few like months half ago. a year ago. Yeah, so, something like that. <laughs> it was recent. But I thought... We talked on the podcast though, right? I yeah, probably yeah, talked yeah. about this. Yeah, I definitely talked about it. But for those who haven't watched the podcast, which... A lot send, of people. So there's an achievement for carrying a gnome throughout the entire game and then sending it into space at the end. Yeah, it's like a big and fuck you king star at the end. Yeah, yeah. But I also decided to do the one where you kill every antiline grub in these caves. Okay. And I, at the end, because I, I was like, oh, I'll just do it. You know, I won't follow a guide, I'll just try and do it. Yeah. I went back at the end, and it was like, I missed the achievement by like, like three grubs or something. I was like, oh. How, how many? How many were there in total then? There's a lot. A hundred and fifty or something. I don't remember. It's a lot though. Okay. I think. I think it's in because the physics is really solid. The in interesting this. thing about Half Life is, is, is like it's very linear. It's like go here, do this. But with this, it's like. This is, it's you can of, explore and kind yeah. of do whatever you want because you've got a goal and you've not but got the, one so half got, set got, to do it. Yeah, they've got big open maps, but they've still, they've, energy, they've really. still got a linear goal system that like you need to get through that door. But you need to. Oh, get, these, these create ooh. energy. Oh, so I was right. Blue stuff equals energy. These are thumpers. Oh, they're, they're getting energy at the ground. Oh, shit. Can I get one in my back garden? The antelines are scared of these, they won't come near them. Man, they're actually. not, though. <laughs> Okay. What the? Get out of it! You're not allowed to come near <laughs> Thumper. You, you shouldn't trust like an unfinished level, though. What were you thinking? I leveled up. You did. But you lost, you got one suit. So energy. there should be another Thumper over here. So Thumpers oh. are like the mecha of energy, apparently. Okay. You only need three more. Wait, I need. It's broken, you have to. It's not telling me what I need though. I think maybe I'll oh, piss off. I hate <laughs> man hacks. Who doesn't hate man hacks? You know, the, originally one of the top cut content of um, Half Life Two was the man hack arcade. What? Where, yeah. So what they were gonna do is there was a section where that you go into like an arcade game, and the idea was you. I don't know. You, you might put on like like what essentially was a VR headset or something. Where you would go in and you'd control like a man hack and you'd fly it around. Right. And the objective was to like kill a bunch of citizens with the man hacks. And then you do that and then afterwards it was like revealed to you that it was, it, real. It was real and like you killed a bunch of citizens. So why, like, why did they cut this then? Uh, I don't remember. It may have been because of the leak uh, that happened yeah. on Half Life. I or it may have been that. because they, I don't know, they, they didn't like the tone. Dark. Half-Life 2 used to be like a really dark game. Like yeah. At really early in development, but yeah. they cut a lot. Like, there used to be kids in Half-Life 2. They actually had like models of kids and stuff. Not um, anymore. Okay, right, I need you, dog. Resources removed. Oh, did he, just, did he smash through the gate or something? Hey, buddy. What, right. do you do what is this stuff? <laughs> what? I could do conversion. <laughs> what? <laughs> So you need energy to do it though. You can, you, can you convert yourself? I mean, you're, you're, you're bothered. Hang on, right? what's this? Spend resources at upgrade station to equip dog with a new ability. A new ability. Right. Send upgrade first, then apply the selection. Right, I can upgrade him. I don't like the bee thing. That, that's a very uh, aggressive bee. There's a lot of panels here. Gate opener. So they have like... Is this like, like, like a... Um, I need more mechanical. A pre-alpha like button thing because like this doesn't look right to the screens <laughs> at all. all right, I gave him a mounted machine gun. What the? F okay, that's cool. Oh, this is actually really cool. I is, I see nothing like this in the normal in half no, two. No, okay. nothing like this. I got a bunch of weapons now. Got some good weapons. There you go. I finally got the shotgun. I found some shotgun ammo, and then I was like, wait, I don't have a shotgun. Shotgun's my favourite weapon. Oh, is it? I, I just like shotguns I like... in games, because I don't have to aim. <laughs> yeah, but, okay. I like the um, the one that fires out the energy orb thing. What's that one? Is it energy orb, or is it like a... Um... The AR2 rifle. Hang on. The, when you just like, uh, pick it up. One. That one, yeah, I really like that one. 
And then the alternative fire is the combine ball. Yeah, I really it like that. It destroys everything. Because I, I um, my, one of my favorite um, FPSs is Resistance on the PlayStation 3. Yeah. And they have like they have like alt fires as well, which I assume is inspired by this. Mm. And there's another there's a there's a gun called the Auger on that which can shoot through walls and it has like an old oh, fire. Oh shit! There's combine up here, dog. That that is actually really cool. He's shit at firing at the little things, but. No, this is that 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 feels is that completely different the fact that the dog can fight back for you. Usually he fights a strider in Half Life where he just fucks him up, but um So this is more involved. Yeah. Okay. Right it looks really cool though. I like this is like a useful companion. Like why can't Fallout 4 have this type of companion system? Uh you do have a companion of Fallout 4 and you have the robot that has like a flamethrower, don't you? What Codsworth? Yeah, Codsworth. Yeah, but I wish you could upgrade Codsworth and like make him like look how cool this is. Is there not a mod though that allows you to do that? Um maybe actually, I haven't seen one personally. Upgradable Codsworth. But it makes you think though if if a, a, a very early version of Half-Life 3 had this. What, what have people been doing all this time with their AAA games? Making, making loot money. boxes and making money and reselling the same stuff if, 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 so you can cheat. What is this shit? I feel like you like you shotguns should... because they can destroy man hacks without having to do anything. What the fuck was that? Oh. It's just a city scanner. They didn't do any damage. They just flash you. It's a good combo to flash someone and manhack them. Oh, you can right click as well, which fires both barrels. Yeah. Makes sense. Grab some more energy. I, I find it really weird the energy makes sounds. You pick it up, that sounds like it's damaging you. Mm. But I guess not final versions of the sounds, right? No, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of placeholders. Yeah. Sure. There's like, like placeholder buttons, placeholder sounds. I've seen placeholder enemies as well to some extent. Mm. There's another gate here. Yeah, it's a, a laser gate as well. Man, this is Wait, really what's, long. There's like two things. I need gate parts. Oh, so there's one out of four. Oh shit. Oh, do you need to craft it at the conversion thing? Kill him, dog. Dog. <laughs> I've already told you, shit at the small ones. He's great at the people size targets. Man, I don't know if we're gonna. Be able to... Oh, wait, there's a gate part over here, I think. Oh, yeah, I think, that... I think you're. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I've got one gate part. Search for them more. Right, let's go, Doc. So it's, it's like, wow, you don't. You don't... What the fuck is that? They're like phasing it out of existence. I don't really know. What? Okay. This is really interesting. It is. Well, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, it's, it's like wow, but instead of collect three bear it's hides, it's three gate parts. What's that? It's kind of this is kind of like the ending of two, where you have to run around and defend all the um, cities. Okay. I do not know the end of two. Episode two, I mean. Yeah. Oh god. There's a bunch of like striders attacking, and the only way you can kill them is with the, uh, is it the, oh, what's his name, the old guy, the Magnuson device, where you sh you essentially shoot like a sticky bomb onto them, and then you shoot it with like your pistol. Yeah. Okay. So you have to kill like a bunch of striders, and you get like very little ammo. So you have to defend these little key little points around the uh, area that have the, that can spawn. Like infinite Magnus and devices. Okay. How do I open this? Shoot it. Ah. Can dog die in this or? I didn't think so. I assume not. I think he needs a <laughs> gate opening upgrade to open it. Oh, he needs to open it, so that's why he's making the sound. Yeah. Okay, I was getting confused, but that makes a ton of sense. Because I think the rest of the gate parts are like behind different gates. I feel like, are we just going to show off this this level then? Because this is an interesting level though, so... Uh, I can save it and come back. I'll, I'll play that later. <laughs> You're going to come back, okay. Like, okay. What, what else do we show? 
There's another one where it's called There's a Dog Companion Inside a Gate. This one was quite interesting. I'll show you this you, one. You want to show this one? Okay. So this one is literally just like an empty room full of zombies, but it's actually just random every time what spawns. So it's quite interesting. It's the same, same corridor. Yeah, yeah, I'll just show you like quickly. Like what it looks like. So there's two. Well, what are, what are the things that are on the ceiling called? I, I never knew what they were called. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I just know. called them ceiling things. Ceiling things. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything like what they're really called in Half-Life. Yeah, Half I, I don't so. remember what their official like term is. I... Like before, I that it... had boards on it. Like the board spawns are random. As oh, well. they're random as well. Aren't they? Yeah. Like they were using this to test out. Randomly spawning levels. Mm. So you just go, okay, that's done. And then you load it again. And then as you can see, it's completely random now. That guy's the same. That guy's different. And there's more zombies. And the, yeah. the two ceiling things are in different places. So I guess they're trying to make it so like you've played the game again, you've, they've been in different locations and different Yeah, because they kind of. Because cool. I feel like this is an early prototype for Left 4 Dead, if I was going to guess what this was. I guess, yeah. Because Left 4 Dead has the um, dynamic zombie spawning system in it, mm. where it spawns, it randomly spawns zombies, spawns, and it also spawns more zombies uh, based on how well you're doing. And okay. uh, if you're doing poorly, it'll spawn less zombies. There's even really interesting maps like Heavy Rain, where not the game, not the game, <laughs> uh, the map. Yeah, I think it's called Heavy Rain. I could be. There's another random spawning test. Uh, ra random spawn. Anything else? I think there's a lot of like randomly spawning things. I guess like if they want to make it like a core part of the game, that's what they've like put in the start to test things out to make sure it works, mm. right? And also like the upgrading stuff. It's a good dog gates. More, okay. more dog so, yeah, gates. So, so, the, so the map, um, it's it's raining on it. What the hell's going on? Okay. So, what? <laughs> wait, I don't have any weapons. <laughs> okay. I was going to try and kill myself. <laughs> um, I need a crowbar. You need something. What's that, Alex? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh, is there some GM over here? Does that give me one? No, no, that'd be ridiculous. It's just like a puzzle or something. <laughs> I t I, Maybe I they were testing this you. system where they were going to have it so Dog was trapped in a gate for some reason. I wanted to pick that up with my bare hands. You oh, here's got, a crowbar. You haven't got bare hands. I feel like... Yeah. yeah I, I saw that one coming. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I've got to get out of here now. This is interesting, actually. It's just a way of doing a level, yeah. And it, I was getting, I'm getting distracted. I was doing a left for it too. So the really interesting thing about the map, heavy rain. Uh, I, it's a map where it's raining. But the thing is, if you're doing better, it makes it rain more, which reduces visibility. Okay. Makes molo and makes molotovs last uh, less. So instead of like spawning more, it just makes the environment. Yeah, and worse. then if you're doing worse, it'll rain less and you'll be able to see more and more tools will last longer. I that's just cool. think that's really interesting. How they balance the game through the weather on that map. Yeah, that's really cool. I like how you just like smash like any any lighter colour wood. Yeah. That's yeah. how you know. You don't get a zombie in the sex in this, do you? you they just what? come back to life. Zombie zombies. No, but the zombie like the insect stuff, the um the antlion. No, I, we don't ever seen that. Okay, good. Only humans can be zombies. So yeah, for some reason, found. we've only ever seen head crabs take over humans. Yeah, I just was curious, like, because it's not like like a zombie outbreak. It's like it's a proper like mechanic, not more than mechanic, but like game law stuff. Where it's like it's actually head crab attacks brain, take control of body. They're zombies, basically. So why can't why can't they attack other species? It's a good question. I don't know. And also... Wouldn't that be cool? There's like fair zombies as well. That's stuff. true. I don't know what the difference between those two is. They've got more of their organs intact. Yeah. They're less decayed. 
What the fuck is going on with this? Thing? It's an energy. I'm, I think I need to take it out to get through this force. Put yourself field, through the energy. I don't have a gravity gun or anything, so I can't really interact with it. Oh, is that how you turn it off? Like, put an object in. Can you not put an object in it, though? Like, move an object yourself. Like, zombies hit things if they're in their way. Can you, like, pick up a box and put it in the way of the beam, though? No, because it's got a force field around it. Oh, okay. Jeez. Okay. Okay. This is a very interesting level slash map slash test. I don't think you can, but I'll try it just for you, to. Thanks. No, okay. it just breaks the Glitches box. Glitches a little bit, then it breaks the box. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Why does this sound getting louder up here? I got a shotgun. Oh, zombie. They do take up what a combine. The fuck? Okay. Zombine run at you with a with a grenade and blow themselves up. Useful. Yeah. So they do take over combine. I forgot about that. The combine aren't human, right? Uh I think some of I think the combine experiment in humans and turn some of them into combine. Okay. But I'm not sure. The thing is, we've never got like an expanded universe of like half-life knowledge. It's yeah. all just speculation, basically. So a lot of stuff could be just there to be cool and not. They haven't written like many books, like a Similarian or like um, a Warcraft Chronicle, um, or where George they, they, they've like life. brought all the lore together and explained yeah. how it all works. Like George Lucas's life. Yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. main book. So you're back, you're back up here. Yeah. Apparently there's a shotgun there. I just want to figure out how to close one of these gates, and then I can end the recording. Cause that's is my... the mystery worth solving for recording? I think it is. Yeah, I want to know how you like. Right. That's, that's where you fell down. That's where you got the crowbar. Yeah, I know. I was just looking. You wanted to see if there was something there. Did you try shooting the force. I can go into here. So Wait, let's get. Oh, the gravity guns in here. Okay, there were buttons I need, in the, in the so place. So I need the for. gravity gun to open the gates. So I need to break into one of these and explore. So this is like a really weird puzzle, like backtracking. So these are the grubs that you have to crush that I was telling you about. Oh, so okay. you can shoot them, you can hit them, or you can just walk over them. And they drop health as well, so it's pretty useful. Let's try and search all of them. But it's really annoying. Yeah. It's like three there. Okay. Why, why are they in pairs? Sometimes they're on walls and you have to squish them. And then you piss off the Antiline Queen and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> okay. Or the... I'll tell you, the Antiline Queen fight is very interesting when you're not only running from cover to cover to uh, get away from the Antiline Queen, but you're also carrying a gnome at the same time. <laughs> So you have to run, throw this gnome across the room, and then Keemstar, run and collect get down. Them, protect saving private Keemstar. I like that. That's, that's a good way to think about that. So that, those are like those are core achievements, I think. They actually change like how you play the game. Yeah. Instead of just I think you I think get you, five points. I think you always need like the low, like the low hanging fruit achievements for sure. Really? Not like they're super low. Not just like you've you've loaded up the game, but I mean like, like the Stanley Parable. Don't play this game for a year. No, because or they like they that. Stanley Parable is different because they made like all their achievements meta and like. I like meaningless. how it's like. Why did why didn't Steam just track how many people have got that achievement before it was like when it was impossible to get? They yeah. Just ban them for abusing the achievement system. Oh, the little guy in... Hello. I feel like... There's one that you have to, like, play it for, like... A whole day on Thursday, I think, is an achievement for Stanley Parable. But no, but I, I, I do think, like, because, the, like... The thing for achievements is that some people love attracting, um, collecting achievements, and I think that's a legitimate thing you should do. So I think you should put, like, bronze-level achievements, which is, like... Not ridiculously difficult, but, like, still require some work. But I still think like the best achievements are the ones where they completely change up the game. So right, now I have the grab gun and I can remove this, right? Or, oh, can I not? What? I wish... Okay, well... <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do to turn these off. 
Kill yourself. It's your only way. I don't know if developer comes to turn down, so you can type kill and <laughs> Slash kill. You just type kill. Well, kill there's no slash, slash but it's not even Minecraft. Well, you're turning it into the console. I guess, actually, yeah. Right, well, I have the gravity gun now for some reason. Shall I continue on and try and... No, nah, I think this is a mystery that you're going to have to solve yourselves. I'm definitely going to play this. Right, so... Well, this you're going to solve it later, but everyone else has to solve themselves. Okay, so this is this was Half-Life Aftermath, which uh, it's leaked content put together Oops. by Tyler McVicker, Valve News Network, and a couple of other guys. Check them out. Um, we, we'll we probably put a link to it in Yeah, the I'll, I'll put a link to it in the description. Okay, well, see you guys. Bye.